Hey everyone, welcome to the Fargo 3D Printing Show today. We got Jake Clark, John Schneider, and Eric Faldi uh, today on the podcast. So we're going to talk about a couple different things. We're going to talk about um, your interview, or some products that uh, that we've uh, announced. Then we're going to talk about year in review. It's been a year since we've been starting the podcast. And then uh, Eric's been with us for a year. So yeah. uh, this is kind of Eric's pod, uh, podcast. So that's where we're all tie-dye. Right. Tie-dye. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we're going to, he's going to talk about some of the stuff that he's interested in, and then... Uh, um, That'll be the end of the show, I think, yeah, for the most that's, part. That's pretty much it. So, new products that we announced. So, uh, well, not we, 3DM USA announced. Um, so, coffee filament, uh, wound up, got announced. So, we have, uh, what, what, do you, what do you call your cathedral there? It's the coffee cathedral. So, uh, <laughs> what, do you, what do you call it, uh, the, the thing after church when you, well, like... Hang oh, out. Uh, co- yeah, coffee and rolls. I can't, coffee and rolls. I can't remember call that fellowship. Yeah, yeah. This is this. So this is like the perfect fellowship hall. So oh, this, we should have got the the truck. The fellowship today. hall. That's what you the, call the it. The truck driver today was delivering a bunch of wafers. Yeah, to, uh, communion to, wafers. Yeah, communion wafers. We could have scored on that. I also <laughs> printed this uh, this Caillou hat. Uh, my friend gave me a Caillou toy for Christmas, and I just felt like it'd be funny. There's a video. I, I'll I'll maybe put it in the links or something. Otherwise, just look up grown up Caillou or like real life Caillou. <laughs> yeah, the Vine video. You're yeah, it's about? that it's that one that's it has a they put the Caillou song with the hip hop beat and it's just really it sticks in your head really bad. I but know it, it makes it makes like yeah. <laughs> that every time you walk past this guy on uh-huh. my desk. Oh, man. So co- uh, yeah. your your so your coffee. Whatever. So the coffee cathedral. <laughs> so the the filament is called Wound Up. It's a coffee. Filament, so it's actually made using stuff that's left over from the coffee roasting process. Um, it prints just like PLA, so you use the same temperatures, same settings that you'd use, um, and it smells like coffee when you're printing it. Not like, uh, you know, not like diner coffee, but it smells like a really sweet, syrupy latte type of coffee. So a really pleasant smell when it's printing. It doesn't really have that much smell when it's finished printing. It's just when it's when it's heated up. But pretty cool mm-hmm. material. Very cool that. Uh, something that was otherwise going to be wasted, we've been able to figure out a way how to turn that into 3D printed prototypes. So wound up, I don't know, pretty cool. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. We got then, covered on a lot of cool yes. sites. Yeah. Um, CNET was one. We didn't, I didn't look at it again, but there was that guy that did like the week of 3D that printing was, rap. Yep. That was awesome. I, I, I got to give kudos to him. That was, that was pretty, pretty great. It was funny. Yeah. I can't remember exactly what he said, but something ground up, wound up from the ground up, something, something like that. Yeah. It, I don't it was, it was awesome. Whatever it was. That was, what was, what was his done. name? Did we get his name? Uh, you could look it up. God, it was just his YouTube it's channel. It's like today in today in 3D printing or something like 3D that. 3D print that thing. 3D print that thing. <laughs> yes. I think that I think that's what it's called. Yeah, here, let me, he was he was funny though. Let me just do let me do a quick Well, while YouTube you're looking search. for that, I'm going to talk yeah. about a little bit about Dynapurge. So we came out with uh, we partnered or 3 USA partnered with Dynapurge um, to bring Dynapurge 3D clean. Um, I feel like <laughs> Dynapurge 3D clean. Um, We're going to hammer that one in. So. Um, Clean your extruder. It works great when you're moving from one composite to another, or just color from color. Uh, 175, 285. Um, check that out. It's uh, 10, 10, like 11 bucks, 10 bucks to uh, get this. Comes in a roll. Handy dandy little sticks to, uh, to, uh, oh, it popped. To push through. So you probably can't see that very well, but I'll try and get it there. So it's just sticks of uh, Dynaperge. Put that through your extruder, cleans it out, make sure that you don't get any clogs. I know Eric, you've used it quite a bit. Yeah, you've been switching with coffee, and it's and it's helped. So. I just I just know that if you have coffee sitting in the the extruder all night, sometimes you come in in the morning and it's not going to go anywhere. So, yeah, just, just search coffee film. Coffee film. <laughs> just search coffee film. No, well, not on top of what you already searched. <laughs> Guys are just the wow. worst. It's like, oh no, print, he's print, yeah, there print is, that right there. thing. Print that thing. Okay, here, here it is. All right. Here, here, we'll, we'll see. So this... Uh, the, it's at uh, 56 seconds. Yeah, so the uh, this guy's channel is... There you go. Yeah, just print that thing on YouTube. So here, maybe you can hear this. It's glass, I'm like, whoa. They got to know the mode, some old crazy I think that was an explicit. You'll beep that out, I think. All right, you know where it's at? Yeah, I know where it's at. Okay. I'll watch it. Well... You have to. So made a phone that they call Tango. So every bro on the globe can 3D scan they. Wow, bro. Cause it's coming from the ground, bro. We go plastic made from a cup of Joe. Really, though, it's grinds that they mash up. Then they wrap it up in plastic and they ship it to your home. Oh, no. My phone don't quit. That was a little bit of a. Yeah, so it was awesome. We will will print it to your. 
or we'll ship it to your home. It was a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> he had a rhyme in there that didn't quite work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it, yeah. Was, it was a awesome. A couple words in there that we're probably going to clean out. Oh, well, that's <laughs> you, Eric. That's, that's yeah. your job. Yeah. So it wound up and DynaPurge 3D Clean. That's, that's why we say. That's why it's been... Uh, like a, It's been like three, four been weeks. Probably, yeah. yeah, three, it's four weeks. It's been a while. We've I been think, very busy. I think that Zach was on our last podcast and he hasn't been with us for no, a while. No, we, we talked was about... Was it 40 no, we talked about 3D Hubs. Okay, episode 42 was with Zach. This is episode 44, I'm pretty sure. I yeah. checked earlier. But. It, it's all you. So this last year, we haven't quite been doing a podcast a week, but I mean, we're on episode. We're on, if this like, is 44, 45, it's something like, 80%, like that. 80% so, of passing I mean, grade. That's, you know, batting 800. A lot of kids are happy with a big, you know. And we, <laughs> we've come, we've come a ways since the the very first oh, podcast. So the very first podcast, noise. the very first podcast, Jake and I were on our way to a trade show in Seattle. So we just had a snowball microphone thrown up on the dash. And Tom, is that what we you did? Hold, no, we were holding it. Oh, we were holding. We were holding it. it and then passing it back and forth in the car while I was driving. I didn't, I didn't know that's what you guys did. Yeah, no, and it was like you, like. Oh. Yeah, no video, just audio. And then from there, we. The second I, episode, I we think, tried to shoot in front of. If you've ever seen our setup, it's like you could probably fit nine printers on our wall. Yeah. Uh, it's on. It's on that picture uh, that we sent to 3D Hubs. So if you've seen that, uh, but we had two, just two bar stools sitting there, and then the microphone kind of hidden off camera. And then I shot it out of focus, and we didn't upload that what one. What was that, one of four? One we of have, we think, have uploaded a couple <laughs> well, and I think that were problem, out of focus. Part of the problem there was... Not, I wasn't he was really camera. nervous. He was like, oh, oh, I'm going to be on camera? Like, he, was, he was nervous. He's gotten over that. Yeah, he was yeah. really well, nervous. Part of the problem is we tried to hide the microphone. We kind of... <laughs> so we've been trying to improve <laughs> the audio. we just bring everything out. Well, yeah, yeah so, yeah, so Eric, Eric would normally be sitting... Behind the there, camera. And we've talked about this before, yeah. trying to improve the audio quality on the podcast. Podcast. We st- we're still not quite there, but every single episode we get better. We got these things. Yeah, oh, so you, now, can't, you can see yes, them. Yeah, yeah, so now actually. we've got now we've got the lavalier mics. Fancy. Uh, we have we have a mixer that we might we might try something yeah. different. We're we're pretty much it's pretty much microphone mixer and then into the H4N Zoom, which it's a really weird setup. It'd be nice to have this go into a computer, but I haven't had that time to put that together yet. Yeah. So we'll. Yeah. I mean, we'll. Yeah, yeah, well, then we could actually mess with each channel because this is just going to one channel now. So. If right. this doesn't end up sounding great, it's going to be because of that. It's all but, a guy on that end of the table. <laughs> yep. This is yeah. Fun. But it, it, it has been getting continuously better. I'm sure, uh, or at least I hope that you like this backdrop yeah, a lot better no, than... I don't uh, think anyone said it's stupid. If they felt that way, they didn't say it out loud. Yeah, so or at I least guess, not to us. Yeah. Um, it's better, I think, than just shooting in our lounge with, with the, the, yeah, the isometric yeah, with the brown, angle at the uh, table. and Yeah, the brown couches. Yeah. It's made out of coffee. Yeah, so we hope they stick with us for another year because uh, we're going to keep doing this. It's going to yeah. get better um, and better. I mean, we had a few questions. We'll have to probably get to those next week. Someone yeah. wanted to hear about uh, a large uh, format 3D printer. Yeah, we, we can I can't remember those. what it was called off the top. I think, I don't even want to say what it was because I'll well, probably say the wrong name. Well, there's a couple out there. There's like RE3D, there's Big Rep. Somebody, uh, somebody asked no, a, but someone asked something yeah. about a specific printer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but I, I'm we'll just saying it's a large format. We'll get to it next week or the week after or the week after. We'll get yeah. to it. Don't worry. But so, then keep putting those down there, those comments, because we will get to them. Yep. So we've been around for a year, looking to do another year. <clears throat> Hope you stick with us on that. And Eric, what's your sorry? What's your favorite one year episode? My favorite the episode. last year. What's your favorite episode? Oh man, probably. Uh, I I don't know. I I'd, I'd say that I'd have to probably just say guests that were fun, like uh, Ben Bernard and and Cooper <laughs> were pretty good guests. Brian, um, Brian, yeah, Brian, yeah. I mean, we've had good good guests. I guess my favorite episode is probably the CES episode. Just because oh, there was yeah. so much stuff that I had to put in, and I got to look through all your pictures again. Yeah, um, but if you, you should make it to go this time. If you, yeah, I want to go to CES because I could, you know, I know that uh, your girlfriend was just using the the camera with autofocus and with all the shiny stuff, it yeah, just it focuses so on the wrong stuff. Yeah, I can't fault her for that. It's just it's this. just the camera. Uh, but I figure, <laughs> you know, hey, I mean, I could maybe get good pictures or some interviews, and we know about three D printers. I know so much more about 3D printers than I did a year ago. I didn't even know what FDM was when I did the interview with you guys. Yeah. I thought it was all just powder based or, you know, like. Well, we the, have a powder one now. Yeah, but. we do. Um, now I realize how much of a mess that is. So I understand yes. why FDM is such a, like, a nice thing for the house. Um, I guess the, the CES video, one little Easter egg in there, I put a clip of them playing on the 3D printed drum set and then I moved it before I exported the file. 
So if you look in that video, it's like a dead link. It's just red video instead of like the one that says like, you know, stuff didn't link together properly. So oh, sure. go look at that and then write a mean comment. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and at his Twitter or Instagram. Yeah. Fall John, the, what was all the ER? That's what it. was uh, what was your favorite podcast so far? Gosh, you know, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know that I have. I think maybe the first one that we used this set, just because I was. It was You're just, really excited about this. I was really excited because we. I mean, we. we I think it was we, episode forty. Because we built this set ago. for something completely a different. A year ago, I think. Yeah, coming. Yeah, well, it's coming up on a year because I remember we were trying to get this Probably done. September, October. Cause yeah, because it was November. It was a November trade show we were trying to get it done for. So we were building it all through October and then shot video with it. I and built this thing. Like. So that that was that was a side project that really never took off, and I, it, it was just sitting. It was just sitting down here for the longest time, and being able to actually use it for something is is pr- is a pretty big deal and, yeah. and now i'm excited that i don't know i get excited about the production quality side of things i mean it's just everything keeps getting better yeah we have the we have the yeah. chroma key we have like some little i try to have like a little starscape back there just to make it look cool because yeah like well i have to export it from after effects anyway might as well have something moving there here when it comes winter we'll have to get some oh some snowflakes where it's just snow <laughs> it looks like it's just, just a camera of outside how depressing i know right no, well, and, I'm, and I'm excited not talking, for the snow. And I'm not talking like a beautiful Nordic snowscape. I'm no. talking like outside. Yeah, like just the <laughs> just, parking lot. Just the parking lot. The parking lot with all the trucks going <laughs> yeah. by. Yeah. And you probably, all the trucks that you guys get to hear every week oh. driving by. Or the trains. There was a jet oh, earlier, yeah. like right before we started. I heard a jet. Well, there's a train by. during this one that just went through. Oh, I didn't hear it. Yeah, it was probably a coal train that started to pull huh. pull out. But I mean, my my uh, my favorite podcast, I think, was uh, we had to shoot two podcasts right next to each other because we were going to a trade show oh. and the second one we're like all right we can't wear the same clothes yeah, yeah. what do we do and we're like let's be north dakotan about it and then like we threw on like the blanket behind oh, us and like right. gloves the mitt- the mittens and, like, and the cups. oh yeah it was uh, that one was my favorite just because it was kind of like last minute and, Ooh, oof, like, done. and i'm sure i'm sure we'll have another one just to, i mean <laughs> You pick up on the North Dakota accent as it is right now, but for that episode, we we blew it out of the water. Yeah, and uh, it was it was like as bad as the Fargo TV. Yeah, like Fargo movie, Fargo uh, television show. No. Yeah. But so that's kind of a year in review. We got a we got a you know seeing where we where we came from and where we're going. Like John said, it's only going to get better. Um, so. And Eric, you've been with us for almost all of it, and I know you're one of the big things you're into is skateboarding. Yes. And there's a lot of 3D printing skateboarding projects. Some of them are good. Yeah. Some I, of I, them, <laughs> some of them really are not good. I had a grading system actually. So I, since they kind of let me, they threw the podcast to me this week to said, you know, do what you want. So we had like the shirts and, yeah. you know, just. We had cake last week. That was yes. nice. I felt I, like we, we've been trying to do this podcast for two weeks, and it just never happened. Just so busy. So it's, it's more like you've been here for a year and two weeks. Yeah, just, yeah. Something like that. I think it was actually like last week, but I, it doesn't matter that much what day. But um, cake, well, cake was glad nice. glad you're here for a year. Yes, I'm still you're here. You're going to be here for another 100 years, so. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, but I looked up some stuff about skateboarding, because I'd seen, you know, I just always keep, you know, keep stuff well, kind of. one of your hobbies, is it? Yes, I, yeah, I actually went skateboarding last night. So I go, you know, pretty often during the summer. I can skate a little bit during the winter. Like, you can't really skate in the winter here, unless it's just, sometimes just a weird thing happens and everything clears off, but uh, usually it doesn't happen. But I always pay attention just to stuff that's cool or people that I know that like, uh, you know, making models or I know 3D animators. I try to like keep it, you know, pay attention to what's going on. Skateboarding is my hobby. Um, So I just kind of did a quick look. Uh, You can't really 3D print a skateboard very well yet. So somebody did one a couple years ago. They had a contest designing one. Um, A a skateboard magazine or like a little skate mag. It's not like a full on magazine, but it's called Jenkum Mag. If you don't know what Jenkum is, don't look it up. Uh, it's not very, it's pretty unsavory. <laughs> um, but they, they just talked about how this skateboard sucks really bad. I'll put uh, some pictures up. It looks cool, but they did it on S- an SLS printer. And oh. I just know that it would not support weight very well. So if you put your feet right over the trucks, like the part where the wheels are, it'd be okay. But otherwise you would snap it just, oh, sure. just with your weight. But it's cool looking. It's got like little faces on it or something. And they, I don't know, somebody said it looked like macaroni after they painted it yellow. Yeah. Um, that's what they said at the end. It was, um, let me see if I can find it. Nice and Velveeta, some Velveeta gold. So my tablet is kind of freaking out. Um, this, this is from the Jenka magazine guy. He said, being able to print and assemble a barely functional skateboard that looks like a pile of Annie's white cheddar mac and cheese you'd find rotting in a college kid's sink isn't particularly impressive. So, I mean, 
They're wow. pretty harsh, but these so, are these are skateboarders. These are like yeah, the, the really they're, these they're, are the, they're not into the tech. These aren't the fun like longboarder guys that you like maybe say hi to. These are the guys that you don't want to talk to. <laughs> you from yeah. like, across the street. Um, I'm a skateboarder, so I kind of I'm going to talk a little bit of trash um, when we get to longboards. <laughs> but uh, let's see, I have a bunch. So I think that I maybe step foot on a skateboard once in my entire life. Did you did you step off uh, of it? Uh, no, right I probably went like five feet, and I was like, okay, and I then yeah, I yeah. Really, you dislocate an elbow, or like I did. So like, it thing, freaks like, you out. Like all the bad. videos you see, like they're falling, and like you know that some of them broke multiple. No, just no, thank you. So I'll, if, I'll play sand volleyball. If again. you're really hip and you know don't really care about skateboarding that much, you might know what a penny board is. Um, it's it's like 20 inches long, which is just not. I have I have a size 11 foot, which doesn't work very well on a 20 inch skateboard. Right. You want to have them. I don't know. Just it's so small. It's like the size of your foot. But somebody made, people like to make penny boards because they're, they'll fit on a printer better. Um, but this guy, uh, I think he goes by Creator with an, just a TR at the end. I couldn't find another name for him, but he had one where it was three pieces that snap together. Um, and it falls apart when he skates on it. So that one I put under fail as well. But it looks like a penny board. Like he actually got the waffle kind of look proper. In the middle, I had a couple that were kind of questionable. So a lot of these end up getting really flexible. The cavity skateboard, um, it looked kind of cool, and it had like a uh, kind of blood vessel looking thing to it. And uh, that one, it looked so flexible. Like if you watch the video, it flexes too much. Yeah. So that's another one where you need to keep your feet right over the bolts. And I'm sure I'm just losing everybody right now. Well, no, because I mean that one, that one it's printed. This that was, was ABS. Printed, yeah, so this was printed in ABS on a Stratasys machine. And it I, looks I, amazing. It's an expensive yeah, and, and they said that they were going to try printing it in SLS nylon, which would be stronger. Yeah. I don't know that it would be any less flexible. I mean, that's. I mean, the flex. You want a little bit of flex, but I looked at how it was flexing and just figured it might break or just have like a, it might like bend too far. Yeah. Something like that. So I just, you know, I know how skate skateboards need to flex a little bit. That's why they're made out of wood ply, but uh, it's usually seven ply. And they, these guys were talking about it and like getting really into like the like the stuff behind it. That one I think is. Yeah, there's, that, a, there's another penny. That board. one's coming up next. That one actually did work. The thing is that uh, a lot of people to make these work will put metal rods through. Mm -hmm. So it's not completely three D. Yeah, printed. the one guy that I, I have to give it to him. He said I don't want to do the metal rods. The guy that did the other penny board that doesn't work. Um, at least it doesn't yet. He doesn't want to use the metal rods because it's kind of breaking the rules. Right. If you want to put any rules on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, the other guy, uh, Fantas... What is his name? Honestly, it was just like Fantasimo or... I wrote it down, but... Fantasimo. Uh, I believe he's from Brazil. Don't quote me on that. I looked this up before, but then I forgot. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he does this video in English. Let me, let me try to find it too. Here the crickets. There actually Fant are crickets. Yeah, Fantasmio. Fantas Fant Fantasmino. I'm not going to even uh, try and pronounce that. <laughs> I'm going to butcher it more than that. Yeah. Fantasmino. I believe he's from Brazil. If you're, if you're not from Brazil, I'm sorry. Um, but he, <laughs> he made one, uh, and I thought it was probably the best effort so far. Uh, it, was, it looked more or less like a penny board. I think he was going to flatten out the tail, and now my tablet's freaking out, so I'm going to go off of yours. Oh, yeah, because I think there was... Yeah, because here, I think there He has was... it at the end where he's riding it, oh. but he printed it in, I think, four or five parts, put right. the metal rods through, like and he's riding it at the end. Yeah, so, I mean... See, just there's there's no room on your, on there for feet. Yeah, it's no, just, it's... If, so I see these are really popular in Japan and Korea, but if your foot is that, you know, a lot smaller than mine, maybe it'll work out for you. But it... I don't know. So it's yeah. skateboarding, but only only so. Okay, so there he's talking. I'm pretty sure that Portuguese. was Portuguese. Um, okay, so just a couple more. I probably had more in there than we needed. Yeah, because then here's here's one on Thingiverse. So uh, if you know skateboarding, riser pad. I'm guessing that's this one, or is I this think. the board? Yeah. Okay, so riser. a riser pad. It goes in between your board and the truck to keep uh, just if you need the space, like to have extra extra range of motion for more turning. Uh, or I put them on there so they don't you don't get cracks from the metal on the wood. But uh, somebody made a parametric one on Thingiverse. I'm not sure who this one was. Yeah, because you can. So when it's parametric, you can open it in customizers yeah. so that you can actually change. So you can either just make it taller or like have an angle in it, so you get like a really tight turn radius for like longboarding or downhill and stuff. So that's the one thing. I'll just get on my soapbox for one second. <laughs> we live in the flattest part of the country. I'm pretty sure, really close. 
And longboarding just doesn't make any sense here. So I, when I see people longboarding, I get like a bad kind of feel about it. Just like, what are they doing? It's ridiculous. But there's one hill in Island Park that yeah, you can go Yeah, it's down. a man-made hill. I'm pretty sure it's a man-made hill. But that one hill, you can go for a really long time. Or it used to be part of the river, and then they oh, yeah, moved stuff yeah, around. Yeah, they diverted the river, and so it's, that's so why. there's one hill in town, and that's not even where they skateboard. So... <laughs> Just, it's frustrating. The other one is the uh, interstate offering. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we, this is this is yeah. where we live. So that's one thing that. Um, so mostly what I'm seeing that works with 3D printing and skateboarding is just the accessories. Somebody made one where it's uh, the riser pad, but it has like a little interlocking thing. I think that's this next one here. And I'm trying to remember what the it was called, like the block riser or something like that. So Matter Hackers did like a hacker of the month. I think these guys actually got it a couple months in a row. Yeah, Block. But it is called Block, just B-L-O-C-K. Uh, and then they teamed up with a group called, I think, was it Jelly? Jelly Skateboards. They do a bulletproof glass skateboard, which is kind of cool. Um, but it, it's all longboarding stuff, but you can put a GoPro on it. It mounts. They have a thing called like the, the stash block. And if you know about skateboarders, you can probably imagine what they'd try to hide um, in this little <laughs> riser pad Not area. in this one, because it's, it's transparent. Well, yeah, it's kind of defeats <laughs> the, the purpose. Board's transparent, but yeah, but you yeah. do see them putting like money in there, like you could just like, use it like a wallet. But if you say the word stash and skateboarder, oh, right. you know, yeah. that's how that goes. Um, there was one more that we had in there. I, did, I don't know if you wanted to talk about the Lotus one. Uh, I don't know if that one was in the email. Okay, maybe it wasn't. The Lotus. I think it was this single piece one. Oh no, that was never that mind. Was the, was no, we'll just skip that one. We'll talk yeah. about that one some other time. But I think it was called Lotus. If you guys want to try to look that up. Yep. <laughs> so it's like the only one with technology at the table. I'm sitting here going like, yeah, uh, yeah. My tablet, my uh, tablet froze up like five minutes ago. So yeah. Uh, I hope I didn't bore you guys talking about skateboarding, but I think it's cool. Like pretty much any, pretty much any hobby you have, you can probably tie in 3D printing with it. There's and like, something on things. Yeah. So, for some people, for everything. some people want yeah. to try to make wheels for skateboards with this. I don't think, maybe a mold would make sense, but I don't think the wheels well, it, really make a whole lot of sense. Well, part probably wouldn't hold up. I mean, no. for a little bit, but it's going to end up breaking. You did, if you did 100% infill, it might. Yeah. Because yeah. that's, that, well, that's like uh, Brian and his baseball. Yeah. I mean, when, but it, it, uh, it, it's kind of like, why would you? That's one thing. I wanted to actually kind of try this, but we're, our printers one. are a little tied up, and then I just realized, like, first we need to get those metal rods, or else I'm going to just stomp it, right. and I don't want to waste the filament and the time, so well, I didn't bother. <laughs> yeah. Waste filament? Well, this thing is going to work and look cool. The skateboard is going to get stomped in three seconds, yeah. and then it's going to go in the trash. Well, I guess as long as we're talking about this, <laughs> yeah. one small tech tip. So this was printed on a Lulzbot Taz 4 with the um, all-metal version 2 extruder upgrade. So it's going crazy. It's going crazy. Oh, Eric! I should have checked on it. Uh, I think it's still recording. Are we? We're just about done. Is that it? Is that I don't, what it's saying? I don't know what it's saying. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, okay. We're just gonna wrap it up. Canola oil on your filament. I was having issues with PLA jamming up in it. Just dip a, like three inches of the filament in canola oil, run it through the extruder. Basically, it lubricates the inside of it so that the PLA doesn't stick to it. Season, uh, seasons the yeah, extruder. Yeah, seasons the extruder. I'd never heard of that before, but yeah. it works really well. So this was a 26 hour print, turned out great. Uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. So oh, yeah. we've been around for a year. Thanks for sticking with us for this. Hope you'll stick with us for the next year. Uh, on behalf of Jay Clark, myself, John Schneider, and our multimedia guy, Eric Faldi. Eric, thanks for being with us yeah, for a year. Sorry, the video, I think it, oh. yeah, something. <laughs> the video just and cut out. And it's gone. <laughs> so close. Yeah, I don't, anyway, know, if, the I don't audio, know what happened there. So, audio wrap up. <laughs> yes. Because we won't have video for this. If you haven't already, subscribe to us on YouTube. Subscribe to us on iTunes. Hit the like button on Facebook. Comments. Social media, we're here. Comments, yeah, hit us up in the comments. We can definitely uh, talk about some different stuff. Is your hat for Caillou on, on the internet? Uh, it's this was actually on this was actually on the internet. This the is internet actually uh, Microsoft posted this. Microsoft oh. actually has some pretty nice models on Thingiverse. So oh, cool. if you look that up, uh, this is the only other. There are two makes now, and one of them is uh, well, swag. Get your own Caillou. Swagged out Caillou. Huh. So, all right. Again, on behalf of all of us, thanks for listening and or watching. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> bye bye. That sucks. I was sure that was good. Okay, I try to get all my sniffles out of the way. All right. So then it'll Mr. Sniffle off again. So it'll sound sound good when we're actually I hope so. there. I'm gonna check that again too. Okay. Ugh. Oh no. Caillou. Oh no. Yeah, you definitely hear a lot more Caillou. background noise. Caillou. Caillou.